Don't worry, I won't miss you. members. Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. I really think that L has to fall on their defense or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Well, the kind of low energy effort they played with all night will make a coach absolutely crazy. You can't win if you don't play quality defense. An area where the Pelican squad performed well this past season was on the glass. Yeah, defensively and offensively. Now, they know how important it is to secure those loose balls, and making it a priority helped them all season long. Well, this is the aspect of Tatum's game that is most improving, the ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. Here's Ingram. And the lamp is good off the glass. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Here's Valanciunas. Back to Jones. Inside. Williamson with the bucket. Oh, the motor of Williamson is special. Awesome at staying engaged and hitting the offensive glass. Tatum shot is good. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Williamson into the lane. Perfect night so far. Two for two. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. To the paint. Here's Brown. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Well, how about Jalen Brown showing us his touch down low? Skilled at getting high percentage shots in the paint. That shot, no good. Smart with the defensive effort. Down low. And the jam by Brown. I'll tell you, allow an athlete like Jalen Brown to get this close, it's going to be finished and finished strong. And few players are as electric as Zion. The speed and power he plays with, something you see once every few decades. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Boston? They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Five to shoot. Here's Brown. Nice D from Valanciunas. And the blend of speed and power, as you said, Grant, Zion is unmatched. He's a rhino with a jetpack. And on defense, when you see him coming in the open floor, you don't want to get in his way. The explosiveness in the paint is really what makes him so efficient. And defensively, you have to make him work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. Yeah, you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense. 
offense for long stretches. The Celtics with the lead. Outside, Brown. Oh, sweet move. Good D by Williamson. A minute 35 left in the first quarter. And it's Ingram off the drive. Uses the glass on the layup. Ingram's got his second basket of the game. It's hard trying to match up with Ingram, especially when he's looking to score inside. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Well, Grant, you look at the Celtics in their defense. Not a surprise. It's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three-plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with any team. Here's Pritchard. After the Pelicans pick it up a basket a moment ago. Here's Brown. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Brown's got six points. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Hayes inside. It's not going to go for him. And Boston going the other way now. Defeated by Detroit in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. They just couldn't get into a rhythm offensively. They didn't shoot it well and also didn't get the best of looks. I think even when you get quality looks, there was an inability to stay consistent. It is hard to win on a cold shooting night in today's NBA. The scoring is just too good. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Shooting for the Wallens. Larry Nance Jr. at the line for two. The first free throw is good. What you respect about Larry Nance Jr. is his work ethic. This guy wants to keep getting better. He adds more and more elements to his game. He is such a fun player to watch. So he gets them both. Boston trailing. Here's Brown. Here's Williams. Unable to get that one. Some solid defense from Hayes. Here's Alvarado. Around the back and lays it in. Nice. Boy, forget about keeping it simple. He went for the high degree of difficulty on that layup. Zion Williamson has been on display for New Orleans. Eight points in the quarter. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. Horford with the block. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. McCullum outside. Horford with the block. They recover it. Jacks up a three. And again, no good by New Orleans. Pass to Tatum. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's his first foul. You know, for most players, being a starter has value. But Grant, some elite teams have been elevated by great players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it, through the years, Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadala in Golden State, it really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. And the Celtics in possession here. It's a three-point game. Their first chance this season playing the Pelicans. An interconference matchup. Now, last year, they beat this team in both games. Now in Tunis. And here's Ingram from the arc. Can't get it to go. Two for four thus far. 
Now here's Smart. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. The one thing you know you'll always get with Valanchunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. Shots good by McCollum. McCollum's got his first point to the game. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for New Orleans. Well, their length and anticipation reflected in their shot blocking totals, making the extra effort to close things out. I think the other thing they're doing is they're wearing out the opponent in transition, exploding up the floor for easy chances. Pass to Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. And with his size and reach, Valanciunas is a monster on the boards, Graham. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. And here's Boston. They've only given up two points this quarter. And at home for the next one, it'll be Oklahoma City pulling in. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Back to White. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Brown. Six points for him. That puts him in the lead. Brown's got eight. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. Pass to Ingram. Back to Williamson. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Now it's a three-point Pelican lead. Living up to the immense hype, Zion is putting on a show, shouldering the load offensively. And Boston calls time here. Here they come in something entertainment. We've got 155 left to play in the first half. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That'll be a second foul of the game. 136 left in the second quarter. Stolen by Brown. That's just phenomenal defense. The defense feels like it's all over the place and knows exactly how to guard it. Strong defense followed by some smart offense. That's just good fundamentals. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Brown inside. Shakes him. That shot missing. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Here's Ingram. Crafty move. And he takes it up and lays it in. Ingram's got four points in the quarter. Brown can't hit. New Orleans in the lead. McCullum on the wing. Launches a three. Orford pulls it in. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Well, it's trying to close the quarter strong. And by that, take a great shot without giving them an opportunity for another one down the other end. 
We know CJ can score it, but the passing component of his game, I mean, McCollum's really upgraded it. Back to Brogdon. And here's Brown for three. No good on the buzzer beater. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Pelicans on top, up by four. And time now for the halftime breaks with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Boston ball. Here's Tatum. Good work there as it goes. Tatum's got nine points. Now, there's some thought that Jason Tatum has actually added a couple of inches to his height since he entered the league. Given that play, I believe it. Off the inbound. And Brown with the layup. He's got 10. Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. He completely lost focus since the break, turning the ball over multiple times. And that's after no turnovers in the first half. Tatum with it. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Hey, guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team all NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum, his advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. Second chance effort. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. Brown inside. Out to Horford. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. Kind of losing their way here. They've let this lead evaporate. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Brown. Pass to Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. One of the things you love about Jason Tatum, he's cooking right now. He's putting it to the defense, but by his emotions, it would never be betrayed. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. Off the inbound pass. And it's Tatum missing. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And there's the eight-second violation as they can't get it across half court in time. And their turnover problems have allowed their lead to crumble. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Unable to get the ball in bounds, and they got called for a five-second violation. Man, all these mistakes have cost them the lead. Here's Brown. They lead by six. That's their biggest margin. And stolen by Jones. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. And that's going to be a turnover. They call him for the eight seconds. Boston with the ball. Griffin outside. Back to Brown. From behind the arc. The Pelicans pull it in. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. 
And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. They're starting a new trend with regard to turnovers. It's becoming problematic. Boston on offense. They've scored 10 straight. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Personal foul. Third team foul. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Here's Tatum. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It'll be on Zion Williamson. The best offensive players in the league get to the free throw line consistently. This is where you're starting to see growth from Jason Tatum, wanting the contact, inviting the contact. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds in time. Well, guys, if you want to know why the score is what it is, look at their turnovers this quarter. And in no respect, real G, I got some code about me. I hang with that I shouldn't, because they the ones that show me love before.